convert a UK or US driving license to a Philippines one. All you do is you take your license to the LTO, the Land Transport Office, and they will turn around, see your license, and they will then get you to fill a form in. They'll recognize that you've got a car on there or whatever. Um, because like my license, I can actually ride motorbikes as well as cars. Um, so they do recognize that you've got more than one thing on your driving license. Um, you still have to go through the paperwork process, but presenting it, they may not ask you to do a test. I mean, when I did the motorbike test, what they did is it made me wear all this um, bumper gear, you know, uh, what do you call it, uh, shoulder pads and knee pads and stuff, and then just drive up the road, turn around on the motorbike and come back, and they go, okay, yeah, that's fine. Complete waste of time. But at the same time, I suppose if you didn't know how to ride a motorbike, you wouldn't even be able to manage that because you wouldn't understand the gearing on the thing. Um, but the process is pretty straightforward. You do that, go in. Get, there's normally a guy that's sat near the door somewhere that will guide you where you need to go. First thing they'll want is a medical. Um, if you do it in Talise, you just go upstairs, pee in a bottle and then they'll give you a medical in about 30 minutes and then take it back down give it to the, the when they do the medical the medical was quite funny because i've had two the first one all they all they checked was my weight which is probably the one thing you don't need when you're driving uh the second time they checked my eyesight and that was it um but anyway you go down and then, and then there's like window after window after window. So you get the first window, they want to take your fingerprints, for example. So they'll do that, then you have to tell you to sit down. Then the next one will go, can I take your picture? You take your picture, then sit down and just work all your way, all the way to the end. And when you get to the end, it's there. You get it that day. Um, normally takes about, I'd say about two hours, purely because of the process, because about... 12 people involved in a process which would only need maybe two normally but that's how to do it it's not difficult uh, it's something you can do on your own don't need to pay anybody else to do it you can just turn up and just go through the the motions there's nothing special involved thanks for watching